In this video, we'll show you how to prepare your phage lysate for imaging in the Transmission Electron Microscope, or TEM. The grids used on the TEM are stored in little blue boxes such as this. Here's what the grid looks like. We'll be using the dark side, shown here. This is where the sample will be prepared. When you arrive to lab, your station will look something like this. Here we'll watch as your instructor sets a TEM grid on the sticky black Pelco dot in the Petri dish. The forceps used in this work are specific for TEM work. They're very fine tipped and you can see that they're handled carefully and kept in containers. Here's a second view of the same work. Here we see the TEM grid being stuck to the side of the Pelco tab. This Pelco tab will hold the grid in place while you add your sample. Here we'll watch as liquid is added to the TEM grid. In this case, we're adding the sterile water. You'll notice that the protocol is available. The sterile water is added and allowed to sit for the specified amount of time. When the sample, or the water in this case, has been on the grid for the specified amount of time, it is then wicked off the grid. Here you'll see the instructor using a piece of filter paper to wick the water off the grid. The water is sucked onto the filter paper, not so much there, but here you can watch it being sucked on. And the next liquid is added immediately to keep the grid from drying. Here we watch the same process again from another view, wicking and then adding the new sample right away. When you're done preparing your sample, you'll remove the TEM grid from the Pelco tab and place it in the blue box for shipment to the EM facility. Notice how the grid is handled gently and placed in a specific cell in the box. You'll notice the instructor carefully puts the special forceps away in the containers so that those special tips don't get bent or damaged. When we look closely, we'll see our grid was put in cell B5. When you put your TEM grid away in the box, be sure to record the cell number in your notebook. In a week or two, the TEM facility will return digital images to us of your microbacteriophage. You'll see images such as the ones collected here from past semesters.